All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson five. And in this, prob in this uh, video, we're going to be solving word problems uh, that involve fractions. And, you know, whenever we're going to be solving word problems, we're going to be thinking about using those classic tape diagrams. And, uh, of course, this video is no different. So I'm going to choose some problems that I think uh, might be a little tricky for teachers and parents. Uh, so this is designed to help um, the adults um, teach the students, you know, what, what to, how to solve these problems in this new Common Core world. So the first problem, it says, when someone donated 14 gallons of paint, uh, the fifth grade uh, students decided to paint murals. All right, so they split it equally among the four classes. So here's the important stuff, 14 gallons and four classes. Now the big question is, uh, how much paint did each class have to paint their mural? And remember, each class got the same amount. So we're going to draw a tape diagram. And this tape represents the 14 gallons. And because we know that there were four classes, we're going to cut this into four equal parts, as much as I can, and we're supposed to figure out what one of these uh, pieces is equal to. So if 4 units equals 14, we know that 14 divided by 4 is going to give us the answer for one class. So over here, and I'm going to make it a little, zoom in a little bit, uh, we're going to do 14 divided by 4. So 4 goes into 14 three times, so that's 12 with 2 left over. So our answer is 3 and 2 fourths. Now that's the same thing as 3 and 1 half. So what does that mean? It means over here each class gets 3 and a half gallons. So each one of these units is three and a half. And I'll zoom out. And there we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love it when technology attacks me. Okay, so there you go. And, ah, what's it doing? Make it go away. Make it stop. Help. Okay, there. There we go. So each class gets three and a half gallons. So I'm going to write that down. Three and a half gallons per class. There you go. Now the question is how much paint will three classes use? So basically what they're saying is we're going to take that original picture, which initially looked like this, right? But now we know that this is three and a half and each of these units. Each unit is worth three and a half. And we're supposed to figure out how much is three of them. So that may, means we're going to do three times three and a half. And we're going to do that using repeated addition. Three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half. So three plus three is nine. One half plus one half is a whole plus an extra half right here. So adding the whole numbers, 3 plus 3 plus 3 gives us 9. And then giving, adding a half plus a half gives us a whole right here. And then we have the extra half sitting out over here. So our answer is 10 and a half gallons. So three classes will use 10 and a half gallons. So this is kind of a continuation of that previous problem, but we're kind of moving on to new numbers. It says if four students share a 30 uh, square foot wall equally, how many square feet of the wall will be painted by each student? All right, so our model, our tape diagram, here is our tape diagram, and here's our 30 square feet. And we have, again, four students, so we're going to chop that up into four equal parts. And we want to know one unit. How much is one unit worth? Well, to find one unit, we're going to do 30 divided by 4. All right, so that means we're going to go over here, 
and do 30 divided by 4. Now teachers, remember, this is 30 divided by 4. Students are going to want to call this 4 divided by 30. And make sure you help them understand that this is 30 divided by 4, just like this is. All right, And that's just a side note. Let's get dividing. So 4 goes into 30 7 times. So that's 7 times 4 is 28, with 2 left over. So that's 7 and 2 fourths, and that's the same thing as 7 and a half. So each student will paint 7 and 1 half square feet of wall. And then the question is, what fraction of the wall will each student paint? Well, since there's four students, each student is going to paint 1 fourth of the wall. And the last problem for this video, uh, Scott has six days, oh boy, he's running out of time, to save enough money for a $45 concert ticket. If he saves the same amount each day, what is the minimum amount he must save each day in order to reach his goal? All right, so we're going to model this. His goal is $45, and he has six days. So we're going to divide that up into six equal units. So we have six days. So we want to know how much is one of those days. So again, that's going to be 45 divided by 6. And written longhand, that's going to be 45 divided by 6. Now we can go ahead and divide. And 6 goes into 45 seven times. That's 42 with three left over. So that's seven and three sixths, which is equal to seven and a half. So how much money does he need to earn each day or to save each day? He needs to save seven and a half dollars. Well, seven and a half dollars, we would more often write it like this, seven dollars and fifty cents. But both of these are the right answer. And that is fifth grade module four, lesson five, using tape diagrams to solve word problems.